friends welcome back to my channel and if you are new welcome my name is Liz as you may or may not know towards the end of last year Bath and Body Works updated their return slash exchange policy so back in the day you were able to do an even exchange whether you had a receipt or didn't have a receipt they would exchange item for item so whether you had a fine fragrance mist that was faceted and a regular you know seasonal one you can do an even exchange with those as long as it was a spray with a spray a lotion with a lotion a cream with a cream and you know so on and so forth so since then they changed the policy and i'm thinking they changed the policy because people were abusing the policy like you would see people returning 80% used candles essentially and saying, well, I didn't like the scent and then getting a new one. And then you had individuals who would use up almost an entire spray and then say, oh, well, I didn't like the scent and they'll get another one because at the time it was a hundred percent satisfaction guarantee. So now they still have a return slash exchange policy, but it's a little more strict on how you're able to return or exchange a product. So I actually had some items I had picked up in December timeframe of last year and then a couple of things that I picked up earlier in January. So I did go in today with I had some items that I did not have the receipt for and then I had another set of items that I did have the receipt for. So it's very important that you keep your receipt for a multitude of reasons but mainly because if you don't have your receipt you will not be able to exchange your item. So now before you can exchange an item from like a year ago and not have the receipt and say, hey, I got this body spray a year ago and I don't like it. I want to exchange it for this one. You can't do that anymore. If you want to be able to exchange item for item, you have to have your receipt within 90 days of your purchase. So basically all that means is as long as you are within 90 days and you have a receipt, you can exchange item for item in the store. Now, Different fine fragrance mists vary in price, whether it's faceted or signature or seasonal. Um, certain body creams and body lotions are different prices. So that's another thing that they account for. So for instance, say I have watermelon mojito and I wanted to exchange it for life of the party. Watermelon mojito is $16.95 retail. And this one here, life of the party is $17.50. So if I wanted to do an item for item exchange, I would need the receipt and it would have to be within 90 days of purchase. And then because this one does cost more than this one, I would have to pay the difference. So instead of getting item for item swap, I would have to pay the 55 cent difference in order to get this one. So that's basically what they're doing now. It's not um, exactly an item for item. Now I did do some exchanges today for a couple of items and because they were the exact same price, so I exchanged item for item for those because I had the receipt. Now, the other items that I had that I did not have the receipt for, they give you the price that's in the system. So essentially, they're gonna give you the lowest price that the item was for in the system. So I had a couple of seasonal items and they just gave me a credit for that, I could have used that credit to buy another item, but I didn't really want anything else. They don't really have anything in store right now that really intrigues me. Um, I do have a little haul that I'm gonna share with you guys once I'm done talking about the exchange policy. So you'll see that I already have the items that I'm intrigued with that I wanna try currently. They don't really have anything else that I'm really interested in. So I didn't have anything else to exchange and I didn't wanna just exchange just for the purpose of exchanging. So I did end up getting the remainder on a store merchandise credit, essentially just, just store credit. And I'm able to use this the next time I go to Bath and Body Works and go to purchase an item. So I'm probably gonna wait for like a body cream sale or a fine fragrance from the sale or something around that nature once they start, you know, coming out with items that I'm interested in picking up. So that is what I opted for. I did a small exchange and then I got my store credit. And it's kind of nice to have because, you know, it's money that I can put towards a new item instead of the bottles just collecting dust. I'm not using them. I'm not interested in using them anytime because they're just scents that are, they may be pretty, but they're just not working for me. Essentially just keep your receipts, keep them safe. They also accept um, your order number. So if you order online, 
Um, in your Bath & Body Works account, you can see your order number. They can look it up by order number. You get the email notifications once items ship if you order online and it has like a SKU and it says to present that SKU for, uh, for returns. They'll accept that as well. So as long as you have some kind of form to identify when you purchase the items and how much you paid for the items, you should be good to go. So that's it for like the whole exchange return thing. I honestly was a little nervous going into it. I didn't really know what to expect when I went in today. Um, to be completely honest, I used to always get anxiety doing exchanges anyways. Just because, I don't know, I just feel funny about it sometimes. My rep was very knowledgeable of what he was doing and the store manager was really helpful as well. And they answered my questions and they basically said, you know, we're just learning this together. So if you do have an item that you're not happy with and you have the receipt, go in and do your item for item exchange or you can also opt to just go in and return it for store credit. And then, I mean, I ideally wouldn't <laughs> buy anything right now because I think it's just like buy two, get one free and buy three, get three. That's not really a sale that really intrigues me. I would personally, if I don't have the receipt and want to make a return, I would opt for this to store credit and hold on to it until you get like the $4.95 body care sale or something like that, just to make sure you get a good deal. Those are just my thoughts, opinions, and experience. I thought I would share it because I haven't really heard a lot of people talking or explaining the exchange policy now or the return policy now, and it can be a little nerve wracking. Like I know I get nervous doing it and we're not doing anything wrong. We're just going in and we're returning or exchanging an item that didn't work out for us. So that's how I see it. And hopefully you guys find this informative. And I'm curious to hear if any of you guys have experienced any issues with the new policy. Um, I thought my transaction went fairly um, smoothly. I didn't have any complaints. I'm very happy that I was able to pick up the products that I went to get. So um, now on to a second part of this video onto the haul. So I did exchange a few items that I have in here. And then underneath my desk, I do have a few, um, like two or three bags of items that I've purchased throughout the last month or so that I have not shared with you guys. And I am dying to take them out of the bags and put them all over my house. So um, without further ado, let's get into so We're gonna start with this bag right here. So this is what I went in today to exchange. And then I had two coupons. One of them was gonna expire tomorrow and the other one I just got in the mail. And it was for the free um, travel size item. So I went and picked those up today too. So the first item that I have is the Golden Mango Lagoon. This has notes of sunny mango, saltwater woods, and coral blooms. And it looks like this. I really like the packaging. Sadly, mine's like scratched up and I could have sworn that I looked to make sure that I got one that wasn't injured, but apparently, um, I, uh, I missed it. The packaging is pretty nice. It gives me very like tropical bohemian kind of vibes and that's essentially my whole house. So I, I like it. It's most definitely my style profile. So this one to me, okay, so it smells like a really fresh fruity mango. I don't get like the sugary sweet nuts. I don't get sugary sweet. I get more fresh nuts. It kind of smells like like tropical kind of humid fruity mango. I think I like it. I think it smells pretty good. I do have mango Mai Tai, so I'm curious to see how they both compare. If you're interested in me doing a comparison video with um, my other mango scents, let me know and I can do that next. Maybe I'll do a short and compare the two. I did pick up the matching body cream, so um, I am excited for this. I don't think I'm going to get any backups. I'm trying not to get any more backups. I have like a whole bin of like backup gifts <laughs> and then I have like other bins of like backup items for a season and I just I don't need like you can't even see like you see that pink thing behind me that has mist and lotions and creams and then I have a whole other one right next to it and then I have my seasonal bins of items that I've open and I'm using but it's like not the season for it yet I have so many items so many products so I don't need backups but I think that I will enjoy this one 
I am curious to see how it compares to Mango Mai Tai. And I'm going to go through my collection to see if I have any other mango scents to compare with. But um, overall, I think it's a really... Overall, I think it's a really pretty scent. It's very just fruity. It's fruity. It's fresh. It kind of smells like... It has a little bit of like an outdoorsy kind of tropical smell, if that makes sense. Um, I think I'll enjoy it over the summer. So I'm happy to have that in my collection. Next one I picked up is the Watermelon Mojito. So this was also an exchange. I picked up the Five Fragrance Mist and the Cream. It looks like this. So this has notes of watermelon soda, pink rum, and sugar cane. So I'm expecting this to be very fruity, sugary sweet, maybe a cotton candy clouds with some watermelon. I don't know. It kind of smells like watermelon bubblegum. It's giving me like watermelon bubblegum and a little bit like there's some kind of mint to it. I think it's nice. Um, I don't think it's super special. It kind of pulls like that cucumber melon kind of scent. Do I think it's super unique and special? No, I think that over the last two years, we've been getting a lot of watermelon scents and I'm curious to see how this compares to the other watermelon scents that I do have. I don't think they're similar to, it's definitely not the watermelon lemonade. It's definitely not like pink watermelon. And then what was the other one that just our pink watermelon blast? They're all different. Um, This one's more almost like a floral watermelon, even though there's no floral notes in here. You have watermelon soda, pink rum, and sugar cane. But it smells all right. It smells good. I don't think I need a backup of it. Honestly, I don't know if I'll keep this for myself either. I may just put it aside as a gift for somebody because um, it's definitely really cute. I do like the packaging. The more I smell my skin, I'm getting just more of like a clean scent as opposed to the watermelon, like it's kind of dissipating. So these next two items, I got these for free with my coupon. So I had two coupons um, for free items of $8.95 or under. So I did pick up Pink Pineapple Sunrise. I got it in the travel size because I didn't need it in the full size. I still have last year's. And I believe I have a backup from last year's as well. This scent smells really good though. If you like those spun sugar, um cotton candy clouds boardwalk taffy kind of scents this smells just like that but with the pineapple twist and it just smells absolutely amazing super delicious and it's a great scent for the summer so if you have not tried this and you like those kind of sugary spun sugar kind of scents i think you'll love this one so i do recommend it and then i also have the fresh coconut and cotton this one's a beautiful coconut yet clean it's like fresh linen with like a side of coconut i think it smells absolutely amazing it's such a nice clean scent if you're into those clean fresh linen kind of scents i think you would like this a lot i'm not going to spray either of these because i actually make these as gifts they're really fun beautiful packaging and they smell great so i think these would make amazing gifts and because of that i don't want to spray them so next I have, this was a store pickup. So I want to say the single wick candles, they had a sale. It's like the single wick candles were on some kind of sale and I can't remember what it was. It wasn't too long ago and I did participate and then I used one of my rewards. So I have here the Mingo Mai Tai candle. Look how cute that is. I love all the summer packaging. All of the summer packaging that's been coming out has like that boho feel and that is my entire house aesthetic. So I absolutely love the packaging. This one has a lion or is a tiger, has a tiger on it. Oh, and it smells so good. This has notes of fresh mango nectar, exotic jasmine, sun-kissed grapefruit and natural essential oils. It smells like a very fruity mango and I do get the grapefruit, but it's not overpowering. I don't know if you are familiar with grapefruit scents, but to me, it can have a very overpowering, pungent smell. And I think if not done right, could smell really bad. This one smells really good. I absolutely love mango and the packaging is just so pretty. So I'm happy to have that in my collection. Next, I picked up Pink Pineapple Sunrise. This one I love because there is a giraffe on it and I am obsessed with giraffes. I absolutely love them. 
This is the same scent that I was just talking about. That spun sugar with pineapple. It smells so good. Oh, it smells really good. They did so good with the packaging. I absolutely love them. They're adorable. So the next one that I have is actually a Easter candle. This one is in Sweet Carrot Cake. It looks like this. Tell me that is not the most adorable packaging you've ever seen. This has notes of sweet cream frosting, fluffy carrot cake, cinnamon spice, and natural essential oils. It smells absolutely delicious. I smell the spices, the carrot. It's just beautiful cakey gourmand scent. It kind of borderlines fall time in my opinion, but I love it. So this scent did come out last year. Um, this was last year's packaging. I actually brought it out to show you. So last year it was an orange wax and it had like little bunny's tail. And this year it's a baby pink with the bunny and the chick. So super cute. Love them both. I'll probably burn last year's and keep this year's. And then next year I'll probably burn this one. Um, but we'll see. So the next one I have is probably my favorite candle scent like of all time. And it is pink watermelon. So this is the packaging. Super cute. It's such a sweet, tart, candy watermelon. I love pink watermelon. This pink watermelon candle smells more to me like the pink watermelon blast body care. In my opinion, it is just like watermelon candy. It is absolutely delicious. It's a juicy pink watermelon, sugared strawberry blossoms, lime zest, and natural essential oils. I think the lime zest, it's what gives it like that sour candy almost scent. So good. So the next candle I have is another Easter candle. This one is 2D Fruity Candy. Let me tell you, this scent, I didn't think I was going to love it last year because it kind of reminds you of like um, champagne toast. And although I like champagne toast, like in candle form, I didn't love it in body care. And last year, this came out in body care. I believe it came out in body care this year too, but it's like on online exclusive. I don't do a lot of delivery things. I do more so like buy online, pick up in store because I don't like paying for shipping. But last year, I got the body care and I didn't think I was going to love it. I used it in a project, used it up, and I fell for the scent so hard because to me, this is like champagne toast had a baby with boardwalk taffy it's a sugary sweet yet champagne-y kind of scent it smells so good i absolutely love this scent i really do want the body care but i just don't want to pay shipping so we'll see but this has notes of sweet jelly beans mixed berries sugared lemon and natural essential oils and i don't remember if i showed you the packaging yet but look at this Tell me that is not the cutest. I really like it. I want to get the three wick candles. Um, not the, they have two for Easter. I want to get the one in the white wax that has a really pretty lid. I was going to go in store and pick it up, but the store that I went to today didn't have it and I really didn't want to go in the mall. So we'll see. The last candle that I picked up on this order is the Coco Paradise. It looks like this. This is the new scent that came out. This has notes of salted coconut manoi, sugared neroli, um, bronze sandalwood with natural essential oils. And it smells delicious, obviously. It smells like coconut paradise. Oh, it smells really good. It's a great summer candle. I like the packaging. This is the newer single wick candles. It's a little bit bigger than say the traditional screw cap ones. So this one here has seven ounces of wax and this has eight ounces of wax. So this has an extra ounce of wax and the lid is kind of like the three wick candle lids. Um, it's just a smaller version. So there's that, looks really nice. And then I did use one of my rewards for this. I think this is adorable. I cannot wait to put it out in my living room. Look at this, look how pretty with the purple and the bunnies. Oh my goodness, this is absolutely adorable. And I used one of my rewards, so I got it for free. So I'm very excited about this one. Have you guys seen the elephant? The three-way candle elephant, it's so beautiful. I saw it in store today as I was walking out. Oh, it took everything inside me not to pick it up. I really think I, I think I may have to pick it up. Last 
back here. I want to say this is multiple trips. So the first candle I have here is Golden Honeycomb. It looks like this. This has notes of savory honey, cozy vanilla, and warm butterscotch. I do get the butterscotch, but it's not like super strong, but there is, there's a certain like, butterscotch has this familiar kind of creaminess to it that I get. I don't get like a ton of honey or anything like that. And I want to say it's, it's savory honey. I think the butterscotch overpowers it. I think it's an okay scent. I don't think I'm going to love it though. So I don't think I will be purchasing that one. Next, I picked up raspberries and lit vanilla. The lid is super fun. It has like this texture to it. And the packaging just looks like this. It's an ombre pink. Very pretty and girly in my opinion. This has notes of pink raspberries, strawberry, and vanilla bean with sugared lemon drops. The scent is kind of faint in my opinion. I do get like that stereotypical cotton candy clouds kind of sugary sweet scent with the raspberry. It kind of smells like the basic sweet raspberry like fine fragrance mists that have been coming out a lot. Overall, I do like the scent. I don't know how strong it's going to be because it's kind of faint. Maybe when you burn it, the throw is strong. And the last candle I have is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. It is the Among the Clouds candle. It looks like this. I honestly will say that I bought it for the packaging. Love the packaging. Love the pink lid. This has notes of wild berry skies, whipped vanilla clouds, and natural essential oils. Oh, hmm. Honestly, I was thinking it was going to smell similar to the raspberry whipped vanilla, but I'm not getting that. This honestly doesn't have much of a scent, though. Like, I get some berries, but... It's very faint in my opinion. I probably won't even burn this. I'll probably put it somewhere and display it because I think it's really pretty. So I don't know. That's not exactly a good reason to buy a candle to each their own. I kind of collect candles at this point. So I'll keep it because I like the packaging and maybe I'll burn it, but I, will, I don't think I will burn it. So I did pick up a couple of fine fragrance mists. I want to say this was during like a fine fragrance mist sale. I just can't remember. So I have another... Fresh Coconut and Cotton. I'm not going to open this one because this is a backup. I love this scent though. This is Coconut Coastal Breeze and Beachside Cotton. A very clean coconut scent. It's like fresh clean laundry meets coconut. I think it's really nice. If you like clean scents, fresh scents, I think you'll enjoy this. I did pick up the Among the Clouds. It looks like this. It has notes of wild berry skies and wet vanilla clouds. I get really strong alcohol. Like my eyes burned. It's literally burning my nose hairs. Um, I'm not getting much of a scent. I'm gonna have to just try this on. I'll try it tomorrow. And if I get a change of heart or a difference of opinion, I'll make a note of it. But right now, all I'm really getting is like alcohol. No sweet, nothing. I don't know. I really, I wanna love this because I love the packaging. But honestly, I think to, did I pay for this or did I use a reward? What did I do? I don't know if I have the receipt to this, but hopefully I do because I don't really get much of anything. I don't know. That is that is very unfortunate, but I will let you know if um, the sun changes at all. The last one I have is Sun Blooms and Suede. It looks like this. This one's not exactly, I think it's been out for a little bit now. This has notes of white raspberry, pink petals, and vanilla cream. Let me find a place to spray. This one is more floral. I do get like the raspberry, but it's like a floral raspberry. And it's kind of creamy from like the vanilla. I think it's pretty if you like floral scents. This one smells more floral to me as opposed to it being fruity, creamy vanilla. I get more of a floral. So the pink petals definitely stand out in this scent. 
I think it's a pretty scent. I think it'll be nice at everyday sun or even like an evening scent. I think it's pretty. I probably won't get the body care for it because honestly, I don't really know if I'm going to gravitate towards it, but it is a pretty scent. So next I have some hand creams. They had a hand cream sale a little bit ago and I did stock up on some of the hand creams. I like to gift these a lot. I like to get these for my dad because he has dry hands and he enjoys them. And then I think they make really nice gifts. I think um, like if you pair like a hand cream with a hand sanitizer and a pocket back holder, that's a really cute little gift trio you can give to someone. I think they'd really appreciate it. I like doing that for like teacher gifts and things like that as well. So I do have one of the paraffin uh, hand nail and cuticle hand creams. I picked up one of the hyaluronic acid ones. I picked up two of the dry hand relief. I got these for my 13 year old because she's been saying how her hands have been really dry lately. But you know, funny thing is, so this one's $8.50 and this one's a $7.50. That's strange, but they're going up in price, guys. And I got them at the same time, so that is kind of weird. I also picked up a fresh coconut and cotton. I picked up the At The Beach. And I picked up a shea butter. And then lastly, I have another paraffin hand nail and cuticle. And then I picked up two of the Cocoa Paradise. And then I picked up the perfume spray in the Cocoa Paradise. I like to collect these. And this, I picked this up when the set first came out. Um... I think I'm, I think I got this for eight dollars. So to refresh our memory, the Coco Paradise is salted coconut manoi, sugar neroli, bronze sandalwood, and natural essential oils. Don't know why, but and no one said it, so I don't know if it's in my head. But this reminds me of Midnight Amber Glow, and I love Midnight Amber Glow. I think it smells really good. So. This gives me Midnight Amber Glow meets Coconut, and I absolutely think it's great. I really like the scent. I should have made an exchange today for the five fragrance mist, but for some reason, I thought I already had it. So I don't, so I'm going to have to wait for a fine fragrance mist sale, which is totally fine. I will be patient and do that, but in the interim, I do have the perfume and I have the hand cream so that'll be perfect to just throw in my purse and just spray on whenever last thing that I have I did use my reward for and it is the pocket back holder so this is the butterfly pocket back holder and it actually has a light I don't know if you can tell I think it's adorable and I will be putting it on my purse ASAP so those were all the items that I've picked up thus far from Bath and Body Works I have a ton of stuff I need to put away I'm very happy with my items with the exception of this guy. I don't know. What do you guys think about Among the Clouds? Do you like the scent? Does it last on you? I sprayed myself today and I'm not getting much of anything. So I will have to revisit it. Honestly, I don't think it's super special. It's very faint. I don't know. I, I My hopes were really high because I love the packaging, but... I think that's the only thing that it really has going for it. So I don't know. I'm interested in seeing um, your opinions and thoughts about it. What have you guys picked up so far from the new spring line, summer line, whatever season we're in? I live in Florida, so I feel like it's always summer. Um, have you picked anything up? Are there any hidden gems? What are you loving? I want to know. And until next time, take care, stay blessed, and I will see you later. Bye, friends. Thank you.